So this next song we're going to do is a song from my uh, album called Ten Foot Pole, and the song is called Traffic. Now, a little bit about this song. The reason why I came up with it is you live in Chicago, which I'm originally from, and you drive down the road, you just realize how bad traffic actually is. And I'll give you an example. You can go down the road, and as you're driving, and you make a right to make up for lost time, all of a sudden, what do you run into? Construction. Then you're like, oh, well, I'll just go left. And as you go left, you look, and all of a sudden, what is there? There's a giant traffic jam. And then you go a little bit down the road, and what do you hit? You see a car accident. And then just when you're about to make another right to get around it all, what do you see? You see that police officer. Here's that song right now, a song called Traffic. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So this next song we're going to do was a song that was originally done by a rhythm and blues artist by the name of Big Joe Turner. Uh, Bill Haley in the comments also did it back in the 50s. 
But we're going to do Elvis's version for you right now. Actually, it's not Elvis's version. It's our own version. A song called Shake, Rattle, and Roll. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> This next song we're going to do is actually very inspiring because what happened was it was written about six to eight years before it was ever recorded. It was written by two guys in, that were in the greatest group in musical history. They called themselves Milli Vanilli. No, two guys that were in a group called the Beatles. And they actually skipped school at the age of about 16 years old to write it. So it just shows that it does pay off to sometimes skip school. Here's a song that we hope you enjoy, a song called I Saw Her Standing There. One, two, three, five! When she was just 17, well, you know what I mean. And the way she was way beyond the head.
so much ladies and gentlemen for tuning in here at the audio out sessions uh, we're here in the beautiful city of Peru Illinois as, at the West Clocks building here at the audio out studios 
uh, owner of, uh, the owner is Jeff Grubich here. And uh, it's been truly a privilege playing at this wonderful studio here. Uh, I'm going to introduce the members of this talented band up here. Ladies and gentlemen, to my right, your left, we have Marcus McGeorge. Thank you so much for having me. You did a great job, man. And to my other right here, we have Tommy. Tommy, how do you say your last name? Well, just about any way you want. It's just Zawaki. 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 Is that like a uh, Greek dish? Uh, Zawaki. Oh, uh, okay. No, no. Okay. 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 You said enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, right back here playing the bass, we had Dennis Rossiter. So he did a great job laying down the low end. Good job, my brother. And right over here, this guy, he plays the organ. He does an amazing job. He's a great pianist. Uh, we have the one and the only Rick Hackley. Is that right? Rick Hackley. Great job, my brother. And right over here, I worked with this guy many a times. What, two times? Two times. Do you remember? Because I don't. Okay. He plays that wonderful, sexy saxophone right here. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only Chad Taylor. Thank you so much. And the guy who put this whole thing together calling me up and uh, putting these great, talented musicians. Ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, the one, the only Tim Mattern. So thank you so much for having me. Um, I, thank you. Um, I also want to give a big shout out to our amazing photographer. He'll be posting uh, photos all over uh, the internet, I believe. And um, that is Josh Johnson Photography. Uh, make sure you check him out, and uh, he is available to do your sessions of photos. And uh, it's been truly a privilege. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed our original music. I play all over the uh, nation. Uh, you can check out my schedule at everettdean.com. That is www.everettdean.com. Uh, my music is available on iTunes. Uh, Spotify, Amazon, any digital media. It is also available for purchase on my website as a CD form. Uh, it's been truly a privilege here. I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening whenever you're watching this. And please be safe out there. Love you all and thank you for your support. Uh, Everdeen drives from St. Louis up here. And uh, it was kind of funny. A couple years ago, I got this message from a, a gentleman that I'd never met before. And it was from Everdeen, and uh, he said he'd like to do a show. Well, it turns out um, one of his drummers that he plays with knew me, and, and I knew him. And uh, it just so happened that there was um, a Cops for Cancer event coming, um, coming up in a few months. So he gave us the opportunity to work together, and, and uh, the band, the local band, Abby Normal, backed us up on that. And it, uh, it, was really, it turned out great, and it was for a great cause. So I want to thank you again for that. And I also want to thank these gentlemen up here. We've been on uh, almost every session. Well, actually, I think all the sessions you guys have done with me. And you work hard, and uh, your talent always amazes me. Um, with that being said, I do have a gift for Everett. I try to give everybody that joins me on the session a gift. And this gift kind of means a lot to me, and I, I want um, Everett to have it. It's actually from all of the band members. If you'll hold this for me, please. Thanks, Jan. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, about 15 years ago, uh, I spotted this jacket that I wanted really, really bad. Uh, had never gone and still have not gone to um, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yet. But if there's anybody who uh, fits the billing of somebody that I consider to be Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, it's my friend Everett Dean. So it probably needs a little cleaning, but I will tell you this. This was worn by somebody who is inducted into the Hall of Fame. I'm not going to give you the name because I don't want to get sued. <laughs> but this is an actual member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and it is my prized possession. Wow. I'd like for you to have it from all of us for driving up here and, and being committed to the music and your fans. The gentleman's great. He's great to his fans. Uh, we love him. And uh, it's been a real pleasure. I'm so glad you, you took your time out of your, your Thank you. such a busy schedule. This means a lot to all of us. And again, uh, thank you to Josh Johnson and uh, Jeff Grubich here down at Audio Out Sessions and all the people who have been supporting the sessions. We love you. God bless you. And uh, have a great weekend or Monday or whatever it is that you're watching this. Try this puppy on. Yeah. you got to model it. Yeah. Now you're going to yeah, see baby. Yeah, really young. <laughs> <laughs>
Right. Oh, man. Turn around. Let's see the back. you got to wiggle your butt for the girls. <laughs> <laughs> No, but all seriousness of it, you're, you're rock and roll Hall of Fame in my book, buddy. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. It's been truly, it's truly an honor to play with such talented musicians. And ladies and gentlemen, make sure you check out this wonderful studio, the Audio, audio Out studio here. Uh, check out, one more time, Josh Johnson Photography and, of course, these talented musicians. Support your local music, especially in the Peru area, Illinois area. Love you all. Have a blessed day.